This is Drum Corps International, Marching Music's Major League. It's impeccable to watch. It's infectious. And there isn't anything else like it on planet Earth. Well, there is one thing it's kind of similar to. Anyone else been watching a ton of the Olympics lately? No, it's just me. I find it really easy to get caught up in all of the scoring and the various tiny details of each sport for which I have zero previous experience with. But it's the Olympics! It's the best against the best, country against country! Medals, glory, and history to be written. For example, artistic gymnastics has particularly had my interest peaked this summer. I have no idea what any of these moves are called, but my intrigue has allowed me to slowly learn that I want to see a score go up, I needed to have a green arrow next to it, I've learned that Simone Biles is the GOAT, and that going out of bounds will give you a penalty. I'm just so intrigued by the feats of strength that look easy, but I know are pretty much impossible for the average person, and I find myself diving in more and more to find out more about these athletes, their past, their training, and how their sports work. Plus, you're rooting for your home country. USA! USA! Let's take all of that enthusiasm about the Olympics, and I need you to carefully listen to something. What if I were to tell you that there's a secret marching arts world competition that you've probably never heard of? Buckle up. Let's get ready to talk about the Olympics of marching band, the Drum Corps International World Championships. Also known as Marching Music's Major League, Drum Corps International is essentially marching band without woodwinds, but much more intense. These corps, not bands, travel around the country each summer performing for hundreds of thousands of people in a roughly 90-day summer tour. They have themed shows that are scored on design, but also execution. Sound familiar? They have a handful of categories that they're scored on that all add up to a perfect score of 100. There are penalties and a host of rules for competition, and these groups aren't associated with any school or university. They're all non-profit organizations that are stationed throughout the entire United States. Their summer tour ends in early to mid-August at the Drum Corps International World Championships held in Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana, where they crown their top three finalists with gold, silver, and bronze medals. Does that sound familiar? And these competitions used to be broadcast on ESPN many years back. So if I'm you, you probably have a couple of questions right now. One, how do you know so much about it? Well, I marched it, I lived it. I marched the summers of 2013, 2014, and 2015 with the Cadets Drum and Bugle Corps. And I've also just been a huge fan since 2009. And your second question is probably, why have you never heard of it? Well, I had never heard of a lot of the Olympic sports until I looked at social media and the coverage of the Olympic Games. You're here watching this video now, so let's make the most of it. Drum Corps International was founded in 1972, but drum corps were competing long before that in many cases. Think of each corps as an athlete or a team of athletes competing in DCI, the Olympic circuit in which they compete in, all summer long. DCI stands for Drum Corps International. These musical athletes are rehearsing 12 hours a day, seven days a week during the summer, and in the off season, they hold winter camps to prepare for the upcoming season. But wait, 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 wait. I know you're asking yourself this question. How much do these amazing musical athletes get paid? Well, I'm happy to tell you that it's a total of $50,000 as of right now, every single summer that they march. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, they actually pay thousands of dollars to do the activity every summer. They get paid nothing. These students are usually between the ages of 18 and 21. There's no age minimum, but you do age out of drum corps at the ripe old age of 22. It's crazy what these student athletes and performers invest into the activity in terms of time and money to try to become the best in the world or just have a life-changing experience. So how do these students end up getting involved in a drum corps and participating? Well, they have to audition at these winter camps. It can be a very rigorous 
and time-consuming endeavor. These spots can fill up fast, and people from all over the world, yes, all over the world, audition to be a part of these once-in-a-lifetime experiences. It's a magnificent hidden gem that you can find right here in the United States that is truly an international music and performance competition. So the water's fine, it's time for you to jump in. Where should you get started? Here's some gateway performances you can use to really jump in to the pool or ocean that is Drum Corps International. Phantom Regiment 2008. This is the story of Spartacus and how he rose up and revolted against Rome. Santa Clara Vanguard 2018. This is the story of Babylon or the Tower of Babel where language in the Bible was talked about and eventually everyone's language was dispersed and nobody could communicate. Great story. Eventually everybody comes back together in the end. Spoiler alert. Cadets 2011. This is a fight between angels and demons. You can see the two different uniforms interact in that way, and it's just super cool and super powerful to see. Carolina Crown, 2012. The show that personally convinced me to do drum corps. It's about working together for the common good. There's always gonna be that one person that wants to go against what you wanna do, but eventually everybody comes together. There's a lot of cool superhero and supervillain vibes in this show. Boston Crusaders, 2017. It's about the Salem Witch Trials. They have witches, and they burn in fire. It's really cool. Carolina Crown 2013. The show is about love that couldn't be, but also an opera. It doesn't really make sense on paper, but it's a really amazing show and they got a perfect brass score, which is unheard of. Blue Coats 2014. This show is all about being tilted. The field is tilted. Everybody's horns are tilted. The end of the show is really tilted. And because they passed us on the last night of competition, I too am still tilted about this show. But it is honestly still a really cool, crowd-pleasing show. My last recommendation of just this tiny little list is The Blue Devils 2017. This show is really all about the drum corps as an activity and how it progressed and evolved and metamorphosized into what it is today, uh, as well as just the evolution of the Blue Devils organization as a whole. And that's just a few. There are a ton of the best of DCI videos on YouTube. So go search those up and look those up and see what people's opinions are. You'll see a lot of really cool clips. You can also just search DCI or Drum Corps International on YouTube to find a lot of really cool clips. Again, a lot of things are trimmed down for copyright, but um, you can find a lot of really, really cool stuff. And if you really find that you like a drum corps, their style, the way they do things, or their successes year after year, search them up on Wikipedia. They have a list of all of their shows and every single championship they've won or what placement they've been in. It's a great place for really cool information if you just wanna know more. Just hop in, ask some questions, and get lost in America's best kept secret. All in all, in the same way that I got lost in Olympic artistic gymnastics this summer. I've had the privilege to get lost in drum corps for the past 15 years. So go watch some videos, get lost in some cores and some scores, and maybe you'll see some amazing shows and perhaps even see a live show next summer. They do tour around the country from June through August. You might just fall in love with this new to you Olympic-like sport that happens every summer in the United States. Head to DCI.org or DCI's YouTube channel to find out more information. Both are linked below for your convenience. Like I said, I also marched in this activity for three seasons, three summers. That's a lot of time spent out in the sun playing music and running around. This YouTube channel really blossomed under creating content surrounding my experiences. So go see if there's any of my content that might help you dive further into drum corps as well. And Sean Crowder put out this amazing video detailing DCI uh, for people that have never heard of it. I think you should go check out his video um, where he spends some time with the 2024 Bluecoats because they're playing some of his music. So really go check it out. It's an amazing video. Thank you for spending so much of your valuable time watching this video. And if you really enjoyed it and you really liked it, feel free to hit like and subscribe. Enjoy Marching Music's Major League, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.